How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Creator's Process. As you know, my name is Jaden, and right next to me, I have Joey. How are we doing today? Well, thank you. Thanks for having me. That's all good. And thank you for taking the time out of your schedule today to come onto the channel. I really do appreciate it as well. No, it's a lovely day for it, actually. Oh, yeah. No, we definitely got a really lovely day today, especially with the weather kind of not deciding whether it wants to be rainy or sunny. I'll take it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and uh, so for everyone uh, who's watching at home, tell us what do you do with yourself when it comes to the creative arts? I am a film photographer and we just had a chat about like calling yourself and owning that. Um... Own it. <laughs> yeah, so I'm a film photographer. I don't, I, well, I do a variety of different subjects, so portraiture, personal yeah. work, but I think my main um, medium is film. I just really enjoy the process of shooting film, so I've been definitely focused on film photography for the past several years. Yeah? Yeah. And um, I guess, you know, like as we're in such a big digital age these days, like was film always something you've been really fascinated with and when you started doing photography you were just like, no, I want to shoot on film instead of digital? No, when I started, so I've been shooting on and off for about, I think I was counting 12, 13 years. Um, and I started with digital, with a digital SLR. And I don't remember exactly how I found film photography, um, but I remember, I remember just finding a, a film camera, um, probably online somewhere on eBay. <laughs> and I'm fascinated by just how it looks, how it works, mm. it's it's so old and I, I didn't even know if it could take a decent picture. I like the look of them and at first they were just ornaments on my shelf yeah. until I kind of researched a bit more and, and became really fascinated by, you know, the... I probably romanticised it initially <laughs> um, and I, I'm a bit of a, yeah, I love kind of that vintage, the old, old kind of mysterious kind of thing. So, yeah. um, yeah, I was fascinated by film and, and then the more I did it, the more I enjoyed the slow process in, mm. you know, taking a picture, not having to keep checking to see if it was good or not. I mean, you take it, you make a lot of mistakes. Trust me, I've had a lot of um, very bad or out of focus, mm. um, things that just didn't, didn't turn out. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely think that there is a beauty to film photography. Like I've seen, like for someone who studied film photography as well in university, like seeing all the original photographers who started doing artistic photography, they always shot on film. Mm. There's just such a incredible beauty and reading about their process going into a, you know, a dark room, print, um, creating them from scratch and even as you said like you know once uh, in, in, instead of uh, using digital where like you can just keep reshooting mm. if you make a mistake with film that you know that's it yeah you know once you've taken that shot that's it you can't like look back and go oh did I get the you know you're, you're just leaving it to faith <laughs> <laughs> yeah it really trains you to be very meticulous and mm. you got to really think about what it is you want um, in digital, you can just fire away, you can delete them later if you don't like mm. it. Um, with film, you've got usually typically 36 exposures on one roll of 35mm. Um, I've been shooting medium format, which is, you know, 10 to 12 shots. Yeah. And so you're getting like very precise with, mm. you know, what you want to show. Um, also not taking the shot I think as a photographer it's okay to maybe set something up and if it doesn't work it's hmm. it, don't take it like I've actually yeah. learned to just not take a shot if it isn't what I want rather than force yeah. it a, a bit but with digital obviously because you don't yeah. have you can be a bit more um, mm. generous <laughs> with yeah. the button clicking um, yeah. so yeah I think that's kind of mm. the difference but I think both us both are you know pro pros and cons to both yeah. um, so I, I just choose the medium depending on um, what the subject is that's fair enough and I, I definitely get where you're coming from like I've had times where I've done I've been at a shoot and you know I you know get the camera set up and then I have the person who I'm shooting in front of me and I just kind of go there and I'm like uh, 
I'm, I'm not, you know, like I'm kind of not feeling this, you know, so I, I, I get that, like, and I think that's okay that sometimes, you know, like if you want to photograph someone in this spot and then you get it ready and then you're kind of like, uh, no, nah, yeah. I don't think, you know, I'm, I'm not sure. And then yeah. sometimes it is okay to take one shot and then just go, oh, okay, no, yeah. I don't think so. And um, I've, <laughs> I sometimes feel bad, especially when I'm working with people and I've had to do that and I'm like, yeah. I'm really sorry if like <laughs> I, we've just spent this time setting up and I'm like, no, nah, I'm sorry, I don't yeah. feel it. You know, like I'm not feeling this vibe. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and, and you know the results speak for themselves as well. You exactly. might, you know, you show it. You might not have been selected at the end if you force it too much. Mm. Um, so you know, yeah, more uh, time for other things. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I really do, like I said, I really think the one thing that really stood out for your work is that you know, like every shot is just beautifully shot. The lighting is just absolutely amazing, <laughs> and there's just an incredible story to it as well. Thank like you. there's uh, like a lot of the works that well the first works I saw was uh, featuring Gina mm -hmm. and who we both absolutely love uh, amazing person and like the 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 story lines to the contrast to the lighting is just yeah. so precise it's just so just um the every detail it, I just appreciate everything oh, about it and that's it's a just, huge compliment uh, coming uh, from you another photographer uh, no and I, you, I you've mean seen it. a lot um so yeah that that you mm. know that's amazing to hear thank you oh that's okay i no i i mean it i really do mean it and uh like i'll ask you so when it comes to like you know your process of creating like you know I, i've seen that uh there's a lot of different stories to each photograph like that you've taken mm. do you kind of go in with an initial idea in in your mind do you have like a story behind it like what what is your process when it comes to it great question i think a lot about this and i've been through a bit of a journey kind of thinking about how i can tell a story through a photograph hmm. because i think photography is something so accessible to everybody now with phones and everything and hmm. Um, in social media that you know what what would make people stop and look and read you know oh. beyond the two seconds that they're scrolling through their yeah, feed just you know the, the two second you know. photographs <laughs> um, so I think I, I do think about that quite a bit in terms of um, you know what would make this shoot or working with this person stand out um, the second thing is you know as we were saying before is um, collaboration I think this term is quite loosely thrown around and for me collaboration with another artist would mean that you know I really want their involvement even as you know them sending me um, inspiration or how they see themselves in another photograph um, I really ask them a lot of questions and get them to bring something to the table so that I can mm. actually um, tell that story or you know choose an environment or a scene that suits yeah. what is about them you know some people just you know really want simple um, you know maybe it go, says something about who they are they, they like minimalism classic timeless yeah. and, and they're like all right I can picture that so mm. I get a lot you know that my creative process is like two-way yeah. um, it's it goes beyond just me photographer you modeling for me taking a photo and that's how mm. we collaborate now I'm like no you know we're both bringing mm. um, that creativity creative thinking and ideas to the table so yeah. I think that is a huge part of it yeah um, I think also with the creative process it's a huge part communication yeah. um, a lot of times as you know as a photographer you have to think on your feet a lot and that planning and preparation and communication um, with each other and everyone that's involved on set is also a, a huge part of bringing that to life. So, yeah. you know, when I do release images or anything and people, you know, say, you did really well. I was like, no, it's not, it's, you know, I didn't do this. You know, I took the photo, but that was like yeah. only, a, you know, a, a portion of the whole thing. Like mm. everyone did a part of it and everyone brought it together. Uh, I honestly 100% agree with you like every time I've gone into a shoot I always love to say to uh, the people I'm working with please like 
definitely let me know if you have any ideas please let me know because I you know and I always say I see most of my work as collaborative yeah. you know I think it's not just you know in the same way it's not just me taking the photograph it's you that's in the shot because this shot wouldn't exist if you were not yeah. in the shot you know yeah. so I think it's as important and like I had someone recently saying you know like I got a message saying from someone going oh you know you're I've heard from so many people who's such an amazing photographer and all that sort of thing and I'm just like oh thank you but like I've just I've been very lucky that yeah. I'm very blessed that I've worked with so many amazing people to help mm. bring my work to life, you know Absolutely. what I mean? Because if that those people were not in the shots, those shots wouldn't exist, mm. you know? Yeah. So I definitely 100% agree with you where like I think collaborative is so important because, you know, without those people that you're photographing in the shot, mm. those shots wouldn't exist in the first yeah. place. And I think on that point as well is as a photographer, um, you also need to know how to influence. Yeah. So one thing, you know, the caveat to having collaboration is that there's so many ideas on the table. It's like, well, which direction do you want to go? Mm. So there needs to be, you know, I, I think, you know, there needs to be at least one voice with that leadership role. Yeah. And um, for me, I, I, I tend to, you know, mm. I think I've, I've worked in different roles before to, Mm -hmm. To know, um, you know, if there was a direction that was going down the wrong way, to just steer people back. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, there's there's great collaboration, but if you can't really take it to the result that mm. everyone can agree on, then you know that's also mm. something I've I've had to learn to do as well. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you know, too many Absolutely. cooks in in the kitchen kind oh, of thing. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> so mm. yeah, as a photographer, thing that that um, you know, back to communication. Yeah. Um, is how you communicate, uh, you know, the vision as well together, um, making sure everyone's aligned, and mm. you know, how do you influence the conversation so that you can get to that result? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Do you feel like as um, doing shoots sometimes, like uh, with you saying that sometimes it's you know need to make you know the leadership to go like, all right, this is you know, um, we need to make sure obviously we're still on the right track yeah. and all that, like still communicating and all that sort of thing. Do you think that? Um, sometimes feel like people do look to you a lot because you know you're the photographer and it's like you know we're trying to bring out your vision it's like well it's not just yeah. my vision it's everyone yeah. else's but you know like you know like do yeah. you find that yeah definitely like thing? preparation is key mm -hmm. um there there are times where i was just like i wish i didn't have to make so many decisions <laughs> um but you know i think it's understanding the people that you're working with mm. so you know, sometimes I'll have um, people of varying experiences. Mm. Um, you know, I might get some friends to help out on set sometimes and making sure like, you know, they have all the information yeah. they need to make their decision themselves. Mm -hmm. So if you communicate roughly, you know, if you want lighting, um, you know, coming from an angle yeah. or, you know, especially like holding reflectors, not everyone, it's a simple tool, but not everyone mm. knows how to use it correctly. Yeah, right? yeah. So, you know, it's just, the ability to communicate directions yeah. and tell them like, you know, what the result you want and mm. they can actually figure out and problem solve. Yeah. So it's like, you know, there's like that fine line, you know, if you tell people, you know, what to do, then they're constantly um, asking you exactly, mm. you know, what, you know, asking you permission every time rather than give them like parameters. Mm. Yeah and they can actually have the freedom to like figure it out. Absolutely. So I think it's finding, you know, some people actually just want the directions, you know, like yeah. that's okay too, but you've mm. got to kind of like read yeah. or know, you know, people yeah. enough to, to know Absolutely. how they communicate. Yeah, and it's, yeah, communication is definitely important to me yeah. as well. Like, so I, I definitely agree with you there. And it's like, but then it's also like c communicating the right way. Cause yeah. like, I know that, Sometimes, like, I've even heard stories from other people where, like, I had the one story stands out for me where someone said it was, I, the photo I did with them was, like, their favourite one they had done, like, ever, and I'm like, oh, okay, cool, awesome, like, and I knew um, that they actually had worked with mm -hmm. someone I knew, and they were like, oh, no, they were just so rude like they oh. the way they communicated there was it was like that they were barking what does that mean yeah and it's like going no do it like this you, you know you did it all wrong and it's like there is definitely a way to communicate 
with, you know, and I think that's definitely, as you said, communication is definitely key. Yeah. But then also the way that you do communicate is very important <laughs> as well because you don't want to be barking orders at people because yeah. then people are like, oh my gosh, this person's actually yeah. paying the ass to work with. <laughs> yeah, I think you that know? comes with like, like kind of experience outside of photography as mm. well. It's generally, um, you know, your personality. If, you know, it's okay to be introverted yeah. um, or, or extroverted, but learn like learn about yourself and your tendencies so that you can actually practice as yeah. well so I think I've been quite lucky because I've had you know work experience from different disciplines um, mm. to kind of learn how to communicate with a variety of people you know from CEOs to you know people who are you know interns or students so anything kind of broad range of personalities and authority types you know mm. whatever so learning how to communicate okay I, I, I can't you know yeah own that <laughs> yeah you just you just gotta you know that's a big part of it definitely and you know because um as well as you know with photography you work with people quite a lot so you need and people work differently you mm. know like i've worked with people who are you know very outgoing very chatty and all that sort of thing but then also i've worked with people who are incredibly shy they don't talk a lot yeah. and all that so you need to make sure that you're able to communicate with different people and go all right because you know obviously you can't be like silent if you're working with someone who's very quiet because then they feel awkward because you're not saying anything <laughs> so you need to make sure that they feel comfortable by yeah. you know always communicating with them making them feel comfortable and you know like so i think it's also as you said you need to know how to work with people mm. as well Totally. Yeah, and so I definitely think that is a very important aspect. I think that's amazing how you've actually made sure that you have kind of honed in on all these different aspects, not yep. just going, all right, I'm just taking the photos and that's it. No, yep. I need to focus on how I communicate with people, how um, I interact with people at the shoots, mm. how I, you know, give direction, you know. So you've actually really thought... Yeah really a lot through this and I think that actually is amazing I think that's really awesome yeah I mean I, you know I have a lot of people who get started in film photography um, start off doing just like personal work, yeah. like scenery um, just their day-to-day -day life and you know friends and family but when you take it to that portraiture like working mm. with you know people who are modeling for you in front of the camera yeah. um, that was like a big step a big thing a learning curve for me um because it's not just you know a scene that you can just you, mm. know, you actually have to tell people what you want and yeah giving direction um mm. is you know i had this whole i did a lot of reading up and research on like direction you know it's it's not just poses yeah because you can tell by looking at an image um you know if people feel comfortable or not. Oh, and if absolutely. Sometimes you'll see like very, like a bit of awkwardness or a bit of stiffness. Mm. And that's something I was like, oh, how, you know, looking back on my images, it's like, oh, how could I have done that differently? Or yeah. uh, maybe there's something that I could, that they can relate to better. So mm. what I've started to do is, um, you know, get people to pretend to be, or like act, act a role. Oh, yeah. I would actually yeah. start to, um, so I did, did a shoot with Gina and yeah. my friend Pierre, mm. and um, that one that one was a, a specific assignment um, for for a brand, and oh, awesome. um, so that one I wanted to convey you know, them as characters, and I, I was kind of toying around with the whole um, the female being the more dominant role because I think it's typically coming into a, a scene with a beautiful female, amazing looking male, yeah. and, um, there's you know, the stereotypical view of the photo. So I wrote up little character um, bios mm -hmm. about each of them so that when we all were on set, yeah. we were kind of discussing what would what would she be doing, you know? Yeah. What someone with this personality trait, these characters how would she be acting? How would she be placed? How would she feel in this? And what would he be doing if mm. he was kind of more submiss submissive? So I found that, you know, getting them to think more as actors and characters um, helped Amazing. me 
with those directions. Otherwise, it was, I think, if without that, you know, I have to be like, oh, can you um, lean back or can you like lie down or like, yeah. you know, they're yeah. a bit more static. I mean, you know, those will come through mm. to, to make adjustments, but you want them to naturally bring the, bring the character mm. to life by yeah. acting in those roles. So I found that to be very helpful in the process. I like that. Yeah. Like I, I've done that before myself, and to be honest, I've <laughs> sometimes I've like I remember I've gone to a couple of shoots and I've given that kind of going. I've just pretend you know you're doing this and all that sort of thing, and then the people have kind of been going like, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you know, they just kind of give you this look of what, and it's like you know just you know to envision you know so that you know yeah. as well as you were saying like you know you can tell when you have take when you see a photograph mm. of someone, and I've seen so many photographs of people where they don't look comfortable in the yeah. shots and you can just tell that the photographer hasn't thought about yeah. if that model is actually comfortable and for yeah. me that's one thing that I always am very cautious about and you know I do I don't know if you've heard this technique but like I do the thing where you know I tell people just you know relax your shoulders and all that and then with hands like you know especially you can tell when uh, someone's posing like with and their hands just look very clenched and all that. Mm. I kind of say the the piano hands, like the, the relax, you know, when you're playing a piano, like you don't press the keys really hard. You just kind of press them a bit gently, yeah. just so you get that good quality sound. So the same way, like just to relax the hands, just because yeah. you can tell a lot from someone's hands yeah. when they're posing, you know, that same sort of thing. Because yeah. I def, but no, I think that's really awesome how you kind of, get, and I definitely can see that in the photos with Gina and Pierre, Pierre? Yeah, yeah. yeah. the, the storyline and I thought, and I actually definitely think they're some of my favourite shots I've seen of yours. They were absolutely stunning. Yeah, there was a kind of a, a beginning, middle and an end to it. Yeah. Um, and I think also, you know, with storytelling through images, it's, it's a lot to do with sequencing images as well. Amazing. I think, um, you know, there's so much to a photograph than the technique of it and the technical yeah. side of photography. Um, you can be very good technically, but you know your ability to connect with your audience and, mm. and say something in your image has a lot yeah. to do with everything we're talking about and like you know pe preparation, yeah. um, you know communication and mm. and thinking about you know how how you want the story to play out is really yeah. important. Um, I think I had a point as well with um, with film photography. You have to be quite slow. Well, you, mm. for me, I'm, I'm really slow. It's it's different to digital. It's not like I can fire away as many yeah. as I want. Yeah. So, working with um, people, my models or the subjects, it's I have to communicate that it, it is a slower process. Yeah. And what I found that you know when I count down. Or when I'm taking the photograph, sometimes I'll take it not on three. I'll take it on two, or oh, even after, okay. even after. I, maybe I'll go one, two, three. I haven't actually taken the shot until like maybe they're relaxed a bit, or I kind of. Oh. Sometimes you think you know once they could be posing, and then they're one, two, three. Like it's that moment in between oh. that I'm trying to catch. Um, and if I don't get it, I'll you know give them another direction before, you know, to try again. Okay. Yeah, that's... so that's another thing, you know, if you want to try and get people in that uh, moment of comfort um, or being a bit more natural yeah. is those in-between kind of moments. So I found that. Because yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's very, it's very um, natural for us to one, two, three, you know. Um, yeah. But I, I kind of either take them on two or I, I count to mm. three, but I'm actually waiting. <laughs> I still yeah. haven't taken my photo. So, um, yeah, so I'm just I, learning a little, like, I hope, you know, you guys watching could, hmm. you know, try a few of these techniques, yeah. but these are some of the little quirks I've, I've started to do. I love that. Like, I um, have actually done times where, like, I was at a shoot and I was photographing someone and the they were just, like, either looking towards something or they were just looking into the distance and I've just quickly said to them, look, um, could you not move just for one second and I've taken the shot because I've just captured that in moment of yeah. time where they're the most relaxed yeah. you know and to be honest there's actually shots on my account right now that I could say yeah now that was just them just looking in the distance that was them just yeah. you know drifting off into 
just the abyss and you know like I think that I, I love that because sometimes yeah. capturing those just little in moment in times can sometimes be some of the best shots that you can Absolutely. take because you capture as you said you capture them in their most natural state yeah. or their most relaxed state yeah and I really love that and as I said like your photographs are absolutely beautiful there's not they're not just a photograph of people yeah. there's a story behind it there's uh, a tech as you said there's a technique yeah. behind it but then there's a story yeah. there's just an artistic beauty to it and yeah. I think it's absolutely it's, amazing <laughs> kudos to all my subjects they're beautiful people mm. and um, <laughs> they have felt you know comfortable enough yeah. with me to, to let me um, take their photos so absolutely amazing yeah. I think that's incredible and I guess um, as a final question I will ask you so what are your plans for like do you have any shoots coming up like what a what a oh. <laughs> what does the future hold uh, huge 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 plans um, fantastic without trying to overwhelm myself yeah fair enough time. always good to not do I've that had a, yeah I think um, last year was a bit more of a um, kind of a building of skills and, mm. and really honing in on what I want I think at this point in time I I know exactly um, you know what I'm good at and what I want to do more of and what I still need to get better at um, so this year uh, I really want to want to focus on consistency mm -hmm. and I think as my journeys progress you know when I scroll back through my feeds it, it's such a you know variety yeah yeah that's probably a nice way to put it. It's quite a mess. But um, because I like so many things. Yeah. And that was like a journey. And, you know, it's taken me like 10, more than 10 years just of, of taking photographs. And So, yeah, this year is um, consistency. I'd really like to have a lot more, um, build a body of work that's mm. consistent. Yeah. Um, so I recently just did a um off the whim kind of set of photos at um section eight so okay um section eight is one of it's a laneway bar in the city um really cool place i'm kind of it's a bit of a second home there oh, okay. <laughs> great people just a variety such a diverse bunch of people that would go there um great music and i found that the people there are just so interesting um so i did a series just off two roles i think from from a melbourne music mix Melbourne Music Week event mm. and um, so I'm do doing a series of portraits, Humans of Section 8, tentative title. Ooh, um, wow. Just going to stop people in their tracks and ask <laughs> to take their photo, which is quite daunting for anybody, oh, yeah. right? Um, yeah. I did have some questions um, from people asking me how I do that and to be honest, it's having a thick skin and just be open and, um, you know, just be genuine with people yeah, yeah. Um, and you know I have not yet had a no yeah uh, it helps to have like an old camera oh, as yeah. well <laughs> so I've been using a Hasselblad um, for that particular series of shoots and um, people are just fascinated with the camera oh yeah and they so they can't see it so that helps as well not being able to see the result because they're like, oh, yeah, I want to see that, it. Yeah, there was, there's <laughs> that in anticipation as well. So that's it's it's kind of a fun thing. So the, if there was another camera, I think people might be like, oh, where's this gonna go? Like, uh, you know, they're, yeah. they're, people react differently to the cameras I use. So um, that's been interesting. Anyway, back to the question. That's <laughs> good. Um, so humans are section eight as like a consistent body of work. Um, the second thing is I run our stories on film. Yeah. Um, it's a community for female and non-binary film photographers. And I started that a uh, little off last year, just as another place to kind of elevate um, female non-binary photographers yeah. in, the, in film. And um, so we're going to start a community zine and get some work printed. Um, and the big desire for that is, I think, with photos, they just exist on the internet. And sometimes we take photos for the internet or for your social media. And I think it's it's a missed opportunity to actually have work displayed in a tangible way, in a different way, where you can actually 
um, appreciate it outside of going yeah. back to someone's profile on their feed. So, um, you know, we're going to curate and open submissions to um, any yeah, fe female and non-binary film photographers. So that's a project for this year that I'm really excited wow. about. That, that, that's amazing. And I love that you are yeah, reaching out to these communities and going, you know, like you are, you know, you are heard, you, um, we're here to listen to you, we're here yeah. to support you. And I think that's amazing that you've open that to people to you know be their you know true self and yeah. to tell their story and I think that's amazing and I want to wish you all the best for that and I'm looking forward to seeing these results and Thank I'm looking you forward so to much. seeing your journey through all these different projects and I'm yeah. so excited for you amazing thank you yeah. and you know I loved this interview because it really got me to think about my process as well and I got a lot of kind of out of our conversation. Oh. Um, I love that you are doing this because um, there needs to be more conversation about you know what actually mm. makes um, the art form you know from the different people that you've interviewed not just photographers mm. but um, yeah thank you so much and oh, I'd, I'd, okay. <laughs> I'd love okay. like you know just people to give it a go especially with film photography there's, mm. there's so much that people have, you know, um, preconceptions yeah. about what it is or mm. who you need to be, what you need to do. I'm like, no, yeah. just experiment. You know, as we said, fail, fail fast. You know, absolutely. And you can learn. You, you heard it here. <laughs> <laughs> and um, well, it, it's been my pleasure. And well, thank you very much for thank your you. kind words, and thank you as well for joining me on the channel to talk about this i it was really amazing and very fascinating to finally hear your process after thank you. following your work for quite a while actually now so <laughs> it was it's been my pleasure so I thank you for that. So much. <laughs> that's okay <laughs> and for everyone watching at home thank you so much for watching another episode of the creators process if you want to check out jory's incredible work i will leave links to everything down below go follow her go support her in these new projects that are coming up i'm excited for them you should be excited for them as well as i say every time let's keep supporting uh, the local art community you know um we have the power to uh, help bring these incredible stories out to bring these artworks to life go purchase prints go hire photographers go support performers and musicians everything let's just keep supporting our amazing community that we have down here Thank you. and uh comment like and subscribe and i will see you in the next episode bye <laughs>